I knew as soon as Dragon Ball Super Superhero was going to be fan translated, we were going to get a lot of brand new information that really colors the Dragon Ball Super Superhero world. Remember, Dragon Ball Super Superhero takes place years after anything we know about Dragon Ball, so the world isn't exactly the same as it was before. So the fan-made sub version of the movie really brings in a lot of colorful information about what the characters are going through, the interactions they're having, and just a little bit of the lore behind specifically a lot of the Red Ribbon Army stuff and Piccolo and Gohan. But there is one interaction that I knew as soon as this got subbed, as soon as this got translated, that it was going to send ripple waves throughout the entire community because it really doesn't make any sense. And this is pertaining to a conversation with Goku and Vegeta. This conversation doesn't last very long, but it has a lot of detrimental side effects to Goku and his character, a character in which I feel like every movie and every iteration of Goku is just changing more and more with whoever is writing him. They're not really all very consistent. So before I jump into this new translation, these new subs, if you love Dragon Ball Super Superhero and love Dragon Ball, make sure to hit that like button. And if you subscribe, turn on all notifications. That way you never miss any new information about Dragon Ball, the movies, or the manga. Yesterday, Saiyan Scholar tweeted this on Twitter. This is so garbage. They shit on Goku's entire martial arts wisdom. Goku, the guy who is known to meditate and show control, tranquility throughout his life as a martial artist, you know, mind, body, and spirit, and he's prodding Vegeta like a foolish toddler. Garbage. This interaction takes place on Beerus' planet where Goku, Vegeta, and Broly are all training. And Goku walks up to Vegeta up to this point, seeing that he really isn't doing anything. He's just sitting there, minding his own business. And Goku wants him to get into the ring, that way they can face off and actually train with Broly and Whis. This is the context behind what happens next. Vegeta tells Goku, Shut up and don't interfere. This is training too because Goku is coming at him with the whole mindset that you're not training, you're just sitting there essentially. That's basically what Goku is saying. So remember, this is fan translated, so this is not the official dub or the official sub, so we still have to wait till the movie comes out to get exactly what this scene is, but professional translators were behind this fan translation, so this is pretty darn close, but I think we're gonna get a different version of words, at least in the dub version, but Goku says, you fibber, no way this this is a form of training with Vegeta just sitting there with his arms crossed. So I give Goku the benefit of the doubt here that Goku doesn't know that Vegeta is actually training. You just don't get it. Get what? Even in the midst of battle, his body and spirit were both fully relaxed until the moment he struck. What's more, it allows one to conserve stamina. Weiss remarks on this saying, you're absolutely correct. It's not training to simply beef up your body like an idiot. It seems this still hasn't fully clicked for Goku. And Saiyan Scholar is livid over this. I'm not apologizing for this garbage. This is dialogue that should have come from Goku's mouth, not Vegeta's mouth, especially towards Goku. Oh, but this is Clown Ku from Dragon Ball, so it's understandable. The MF literally educating Goku who mastered Super Saiyan to conserve stamina against Cell and at the time thought of it as a genius move. GTFO, Dragon Ball duper stupid. You gotta be kidding me. How have Goku and Vegeta mentality switched so much? They've written Goku to be future Trunks against Cell. It's a joke. He was so ahead of this crap. It clicked even in the Cell games, GTFO. So in summary, when it comes to the training between Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, Vegeta is talking to Goku about training his mind, meditating, and kind of honing his abilities on the inside calmly. That way he can preserve stamina, preserve key things like that and Goku doesn't understand this and Whis kind of pushes the fact that Goku doesn't understand this when Goku has learned this since he was little Goku's been meditating for years now he's been meditating to own his abilities to own his senses and even at some point training and fighting opponents in the inside of his mind this is how Dragon Ball Super started when he was fighting against opponents on the farm he's way beyond this already and in Dragon Ball Z cell games he ends ended up realizing that he needed to conserve strength by becoming Super Saiyan all the time. So he understands what conserving strength and conserving key is all about. But in this instance, it makes it seem like Goku really only cares about fighting.
fighting and doesn't really understand anything else besides training. And it's even sadder that in the manga, the last manga chapter that just came out, Goku actually meditates to figure out how to use Ultra Instinct against Gas. So I don't understand where this is coming from from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, but it does seem like Goku has been either dumbed down or his personality has been switched up with Vegeta. Again, caveat, this is a fan-made translation. These are subtitles that are fan-made. This is not official, so we gotta take this with a grain of salt, but it is kind of hard from the translations to get anything else out of this besides the fact that Goku doesn't remember how to do this. I knew as soon as I watched the movie that this is going to be an issue. I just wanted to verify and make sure 100% that it was going to be. People like Smugstiff are obviously bothered by this. Imash is live, Unreal and Gaming. This is almost like a joke when it comes to this interaction. So the majority of the arguments for this scene and trying to protect it, trying to use copium against it, is not really any valid reason at all. There is nothing here that is like, oh, this is accurate, like Goku was always like this. Most of the replies to this are, you are looking way too hard into this, uh, you need to you know, calm down, it's just a movie, don't take it so seriously, when this is actually valid criticism over the dialogue and the way that they have Goku's character portrayed in Dragon Ball Super Superhero, which is canon, it is part of the timeline, and more likely will be seen again in the future. Trying to argue against this with just, oh, don't talk about it, means that you know it's as stupid as it sounds, and you have no other comeback against it. Although there is one person here that told Saiyan Scholar that Goku doesn't meditate, and he rarely does so. That's what they're talking about. Goku really doesn't know how to meditate, when if you kind of type in on Google Images, Goku meditating, you will find hundreds of pages of Goku meditating. There's hundreds of instances of Goku meditating since he was a child, and there are a lot more in Dragon Ball Super as well, in the manga as well. There are a lot of moments where Goku is meditating, so this argument is a fallacy. Goku has always meditated. Goku knows the value of meditation. Goku knows the value of key control. That's exactly what they're talking about, and so the best response that I've seen to this is that I'm going to wait till the subversion, official subversion version or official dub version comes out which i highly suggest everyone to do before you make final verdicts because again this is fan made this is fan made translations and so there could be some errors or some different ways of translating it but the interaction itself even without the translation it seems like that's what's going on and i am totally against the dumbing down of goku's character to make Vegeta look smarter when Vegeta is really the one that really hasn't meditated not even close to as much as goku has and that's facts Subscribe for more content.